Let's continue with part eight. Your eyes ever sparkling? Do you miss me, darling? Do you miss me, darling? Longing for someone far away, living an empty life. I miss your soft and beautiful lips. The river continues flowing, indifferent. The lonely rose bush is cheerless. I dream of our glorious time together, holding the single pillow. Seagulls are flying low. This evening seems so distant. Do you miss me, darling? Do you miss me, darling? What a touching scene! <laughs> a man, all alone, very late at night on a lonely bridge, singing pretty songs to. The moon. <laughs> Hello, Elsa. You startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought doctors were unflappable. But please, don't fly away like all the pigeons do whenever I come near. I'm actually grateful for the company. It's usually pretty empty out here. You come here often? Uh, lately, I do. I see. You miss her terribly, don't you? What have you heard? Has she written to you? A note from the airport saying she arrived safely. I'm sure she misses hearing from you. My life here is so much the same. Nothing significant to report in any case. Except for the terrible loneliness, Rolf. Especially late at night. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Wait till my therapist hears about this. Oh boy. Oh, it's gotten so bad that I've taken to making out with marble statues in the middle of Munich in the middle of the night. Elsa, you know how in love with my wife I am. Oh, Rolf, I'm a horrible person. No, 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 please. Oh, no, Rolf. Oh God, I have something to show you. It is a letter from India. It's from Klaus. You remember Klaus from the hospital? Anyway, he and I have become pen pals and. Uh, well, he and Ton, they are staying at an ashram somewhere, so she's okay. Uh, there's a return address if you'd like to write to her. Or, and why don't you just go? What are you doing standing around here? <laughs> Rolf, um, please give my love to Ton, and you will never mention what happened here tonight, ever. Okay. Good night. Uh, Goodbye. Ooh. As nights pass and days go by, I miss only you all the time. Do you miss me, darling? <laughs>
to the sound of water and the birds. the flowing water and hear the songs within you make my life flowing like the river water then tomorrow we'll reach the seashore I love to sit on the riverbank Remembering the tears in your eyes when you spoke of the suffering in this world. You make my life flowing like the river water. Then tomorrow we'll reach the seashore. India's hot. <laughs> to become one with the planet, one must become a tree. <laughs> Who's one? get it. When you fold it, his chin becomes a butt. <laughs> That's funny. Guilty pleasure? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This, this, this isn't mine. Oh, Ton. Klaus, your secret is safe with me. Go gently with yourself, my gentle friend. And look, flour from the market for homemade chapatis. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ton, how are you sleeping these days, you know, up there on the roof? My five zillion star hotel? I sleep like a lamb in pasture. Well, still, all in all, it can't be very safe. You know, there's scorpions everywhere. And it rains. A lot. And, um... And there's room, you know. Inside. <laughs> Where in that tiny cot? Yes. Klaus. Oh, no, no, I'd, uh, I'd sleep on the floor, you know, with a, with a mat and a, and a blanket. <laughs> Klaus, how can I make you understand what I mean when I say I absolutely adore you? And I'm going to keep sleeping on the roof. In any case, it will soon be time for me to be pressing on. Why, why do you have to press on? Oh, it, it's beautiful here, and, and we're eating well, and, and growing wiser every day, just living, just being, aren't we? You know that woman who gave me her walking stick? She called me Smiling Step. She knew, I think, that my journey would be long, but joyful. And there is this inner joy within me that wants me to keep going forward. If I were to find a true master, I have to climb higher into the Himalayas. Smiling Step. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have to finish shopping. So, uh, if you're hungry, 
Have some sprouts. Oh, I will, because I love these. Um... Oh, Tom, you forgot your book. You... If it wasn't for you in life, where would I have run? Maybe to a monastery. I can do better than that. If it wasn't for sprouts in life, I would have gone to the moon. Sitting there miserable like a dog without bones. If it wasn't for sprouts in life, I would have been so lonesome. Think of the sunflower without the shining sun. If it wasn't for sprouts in life, oh, where would I have run? Maybe to a monastery, but there I would be so lonely. Like a monk without a nun. But there I would be so lonely Like a monk Without a nun Dr. Reinhardt? Hello, Klaus. Where did you... How did you... Find you? The usual way. An airplane, a bus, a water buffalo, my own two legs. I travel equipped with three things that have proven sufficient. My passport, a handful of traveler's checks, and this letter that you sent to Elsa. Oh, um... Did you not think that she would show it to me? Well, I, I, and did you not think that I would make note of the return address that you so dutifully scrawled on the envelope? But you weren't there. I showed her picture at every ashram and bank and post office between here and Delhi. Well, um, Where is she? Who? My wife. Oh. Oh, she's not here. She's, uh, she's out gathering food for our supper. So she does live here? Yes. With you? Yes. With you? Yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> We're both on the same spiritual path, you know. We met. I helped her. At, uh, saved her, actually, from a particularly dangerous situation, and she was very grateful. Go on. And I think, no, I know that she does not want to go back to Germany with you, Doctor, if that is what you are assuming. That is none of your business. No, 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 it is my business because I'm in love with her. And she you. Yes? <laughs> she adores me. She told me so. I don't believe it. Oh, it's like a bad dream. Ah, oh, what a fool I've been to have gone on this exhausting, idiotic, wild goose chase. Do me a favor, Klaus. Tell Tan I was here. Show this to her. It'll prove what inspired my visit. I'll be back in Munich. Oh, Klaus. 
I'm back. Oh, no, so quickly. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's this? Your letter to Elsa from Germany? How did this get here? Uh, Rolf. Rolf brought it. <laughs> Rolf? Here? When? Oh, just now. Well, where is he? No, 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 he left. I, I sent him away. What? Okay, he left. He, uh, he was pretty angry. But why? Because we're living together. That's ridiculous! Did you tell him the truth that I sleep on the roof and you're here temporarily until you find your own hut? I told him the truth. I told him I was in love with you, Tan. Klaus. You great big idiot. I know. Why did you do such a thing? Because it's the truth. Because it's... It's pure. It's real. And because... Because I was afraid. I was afraid that if I didn't tell him I was in love with you, he was going to take you away and I would never see you again. Klaus, didn't I just tell you that I absolutely adore you? But Rolf is my husband and I'm in love with him. I see. I see that. <laughs> Which way did he go, Klaus? That way. No, wait. No, way. For me, it was a dream come true, you know, to be able to be a little crazy and a little funny. You know, it's not something I usually get called for. So when the offer came out and I found out about the organization and, um, and about the beautiful writings of uh, Master Ching Hai, I said, absolutely, absolutely. It was a wonderful experience. The ensemble and the principal artists were amazing people to work with. Uh, all the people from Supreme Master TV and the production were so welcoming. And it was just a blast actually to hear finally the, the, the reactions of the audience uh, with those, all those songs and the Robert Torty jokes. Todd! Todd! Where did you go? Todd! I'm down here! And to finally have this audience there. One of my favorites was actually, he played uh, the gentleman that kind of chased nice. after her. I worked with him on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody a while back, so it was cool to see him on stage. It was hilarious. Have they gone? Not yet. When she's on the river, that one was beautiful. Yeah, I really like that. You make my life flowing like the river water. Remarkable viewers, we appreciate your company today for The Real Love, a musical that unites hearts, part eight of a multi-part series Please join us again next Tuesday, June 22nd for part 9.